What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be opening up a Shrouded Fable. Shrouded Fable is the newest set. It has, you know, mixed reviews. There's been some issues with the ETBs being pushed back, even though I'm seeing people open them online. Some bigger content creators and some smaller ones that have LGS stores having cases to rip. Not too sure what the situation is. Maybe there's just not enough of them to distribute yet. But either way, we picked up some product and we're gonna rip into it. All right, guys. So since we couldn't get the ETB, of course, we had to get a Greninja EX Special Collection box and the Kingdra to go along with it. We'll be opening up both of these in today's video. I also wanted to highlight that if you went to GameStop, you could get one of these Pikachu World Championship promo cards. This isn't a holo, surprisingly. It's just a regular promo card. No holo on it at all. A little bit disappointing, but I feel like there'll probably be a holo variant if you attend Worlds. But yeah, I don't know what the deal is. I think in America, it's just buy a Shrouded Fable product. It might be the same here in Canada. When I, when I went to my GameStop, I asked the guy, you know, how much do I have to spend to get that? Because usually it's $20. And he just said, yeah, I'll just give it to you. Don't worry about it. Decided to buy something anyways. But geez, can I say GameStop is super expensive here in Canada. This three-pack blister, $24. I have the edge. So I don't even know if that's accurate. You only say if 5% with edge now for whatever reason. You have to be platinum. I don't know. They reset everyone's edge cards. I had platinum. Now it's gold. They didn't give me a reason. They said I can't go back up to platinum. Whatever. Big changes from EB Games to GameStop if you're, you know, don't shop there regularly. But yeah, 22 bucks, let's say I paid for this. I don't know. 22 to $23 for three packs of cards. Highway robbery right there. I thought about getting the King Gambit box. It was $36.99. And I'm just looking right now at the Greninja and Kingdra boxes. And they're going for $49.99. Now, I picked these up from Zephyr Epic here in Canada. It's $35, you know, free shipping over $50 bucks to my door. Grabbed a couple Greninjas because they've been selling out in a lot of places. Grabbed the Kingdra because you, you got to open up the Kingdra. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, GameStop, geez, I don't know who's shopping there, how they're in business. They have some good sales occasionally. They had those milk cartons on sale for like $30, bucks, which was a good deal back, you know, couple months ago maybe five months ago now but damn i don't know how these guys are selling anything these days but anyways let's rip into these we'll uh get them both open here look at the promos and then rip into some packs all right so i've separated the packs here this is greninja this is kingdra let's uh you know start a little poll in the comments below let me know you think kingdra or greninja are gonna have the better hits i'm gonna go with kingdra let's see but anyways, let's take a quick look at the promo cards. That Kingdra is amazing. Beautiful card. I love this style of artwork. Super stoked. As soon as they announced it, I knew I needed it. Especially the Kingdra, you know. Greninja's sweet, but Kingdra, you know, that's just a sweet Pokemon. I've always liked it. You also got the Horsey. Looks pretty cool with this uh, hollow pattern. I don't know if this is like the Cosmo one. I know they all have names, but pretty sweet cards. There's some better lighting. I'm redoing the setup this weekend here, so hopefully in future videos we got some more stuff going on, a little bit better lighting. I'll, you know, be able to turn on the overhead lights. Won't be like a huge shadow from my hat. We'll have a backdrop. It's going to be nice. But there's the the Froki and Frogadier. Frogadier is such a mid, you know, middle evolution. Mid-middle. Froki's pretty sweet. And then, you know, Greninja, somewhat of a fan favorite right there. Super cool card. The artwork is amazing on this, you know, these have been going for a good price. These boxes, the Greninjas, like I said, I bought a couple of them just in case they're really hard to get. I think they're awesome and I think a lot of people are wanting them. They were selling out everywhere and the Kingdras weren't, so I grabbed a few while I could. But yeah, that's an amazing card. We're going to have to sleeve these up right away. I'm curious to see, uh, you know, how many of these are going to get graded, if there's going to be a lot in the PSA 10. I doubt it. Like this guy... Pretty much all the corners are kind of biffed, and this was the nicest one out of the three boxes I picked up. I would love this Kingdra in like a PSA 10, but you know. So far with Scarlet and Violet, it seems like most cards are very difficult to grade. I don't know if there's really a point in trying or if it's going to be worth it. We'll have to see. But yeah, we'll just throw those promos off to the side. Eh, maybe we'll try to set them up back there if they'll stay. Should we go back and forth? Let's just start with the, uh, this was the Greninja pack. I'll match them up with the promos. We'll start with Greninja. Let's see. So I'll ask, ask another question here. Have you guys picked up Shrouded Fable? What do you guys think? I made a video on this about a week or two ago, and I feel like consensus is it's not uh, anything too excited or too exciting, I guess. Dusclops is a pretty sweet card. 
I know this is pretty playable, so I'm going to keep any playable cards maybe off to the side. You should do the same, even if you don't play. You could probably sell them for, you know, a couple bucks or something, a bit more than your regular bulk. Meowth to go with the Persian we just pulled. Eveltal. I collect Eveltal, so keep that off to the side as well. Academy at Night. That's a nice looking card. Kiram, an uncommon Kiram. That's weird. I feel like this should be a hollow. A rare, at least. Eevee. Oh, the new... What do you guys think about this pattern? Is it going to be only for this set? I don't know if I like it. Looks nice on the Eevee. It looks nice on the Reverse Hollow Energies. Maybe we'll get one in here. From there, we got Seedra. And Tapu Bulu. And just a regular energy. There's a code card if you want to pick it up. Go and grab it. Nothing in that first pack. No first pack magic in today's video, but that's okay. I feel like we're going to pull out of 10 packs here. We'll probably pull every common uncommon card. Such a small set. 99 cards. Should have just made it 100. What were they thinking? Cassiopeia. There's a great special illustration rare in this set. Sylveon. We're getting the Eeveelution reverse hollows. Dartrix and our rare Haxorus. I think my chase card... What is my chase card for this set? I like the Cassiopeia Special Illustration Rare. I also like the Hound Doom Illustration Rare. Those would probably be the main ones I want to go for. I'd be stoked to pull. There you see, we're getting so many duplicates already of all these basic cards. There's Persian. Slitherwing. Wasn't this in another set? And Dusknor. You know, Dusknor... I think these are going to see a lot of play. Dusclops, Dusknor, you know, Duskull. Just a regular energy again. Three packs in and nothing yet. Our pull rate's going to be tricky here. I don't know. I haven't really watched anyone open this set up. Like I said, it's not like all that exciting to most people, even me. I'll probably just open these two boxes and maybe that three pack I picked up and call it there. I don't know if I would really bother ripping too much of this. Another Eevee. What's going on? Absol. And Dusk Noir. Alright, just getting all the dupes already. Let's see, last pack, are we going to get nothing? Man, I gotta say, if I spent 50 bucks, if I was a kid and I saved up and spent $50 on this box at GameStop and pulled nothing, I'd probably never open Pokemon cards again. This is ridiculous. Horsey. And same artwork as the promo. No hollow on it, though. Power Glass, Iron Moth, Drowsy, come on Rowlet, no hits in this whole box, not even a Hollow Energy, bro, I should have picked a different one, there's a code for you, so Kingdra, all you gotta do to beat Greninja is get one hit, what is this, that's ridiculous, Let's see if we can, hopefully we get something in this video. Man, if we open both boxes and not a single hit. Oh, zero six. 6 that's the first one of those we've seen. Finding Mochi, first one of those as well. Crobat. Come on, dude. This might be rough. I did watch PokeRev's, like, first opening of this set, and... He ripped, like, a lot of packs, like maybe 13 and got one hit, and then he started getting a lot. We're getting a lot of different cards in these packs. Maybe that first one had, like, some sort of batching thing going on. Kiram Reverse, Blood Moon Ursa Luna. At least we're getting new cards, but still, nothing good. You know, if we pull nothing, we're opening that three pack as a backup. I'm telling you right now, this is crazy. Dusclops... Have we not seen a single Dusk Skull? Got the full evolution line, but we can't start it off. Reverse Dusknar. Toxic. Oh, come on. Give me something, bro. Ursa Luna. What are we doing? This is actually ridiculous. Definitely just going to buy the singles for this. $70 down the drain here. Another Dusk Lops. I swear I haven't seen a Dust Skull yet, though. Binding Mochi. Galvantula. Bug-type Galvantula. Dude. 
This might be the worst pack opening ever. Can we get last pack magic? Come on. Bless this pack. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. What's this guy's name? Monkey Dory? Come on, Monkey Dory. Give us some goods. Give us, uh, you know, anything. An EX? Special illustration rare to make up for all this garbo. Mochi. Another Sylveon. Dude, are you serious right now? Bro! Not even a hollow energy. What is this? What is this? We got nothing. Ten packs. Not a single hit. I guess we gotta open this up. And get into this stupid $22 for three packs garbage here. Let's see. Come on. Come on. You got the loyal three packs. One of these have to have something. I can't believe... Neither. Neither of those packs had anything in it. We have to get something. Not even an EX. Like, come on. Not even a hollow energy. Night Stretcher. That's a new one we haven't seen yet. Come on. Give me something, brother. Grouted Fable might be the worst set. Worst set ever printed. Oh, there's an Ace spec in this. I can see it. I don't want an Ace spec. I forgot those were in here. Oh. Pokey Vital. Sick. I don't know. That might be good. Cure him again, dude. We're just pulling like the same illustration rares. Not illustration rares. The same hollows and reverse hollows over and over again, too. Come on, last pack. Malamar, we're still seeing new cards, surprisingly. Sylveon, come on. Give me something. Illustration rare. Give me an illustration. Dude, you gotta be kidding me. Seriously, man. 13 packs and we got an ace spec. Rock on, bro. That's what we wanted. How disappointing. How disappointing. What happened to the good pull rates? When I opened my first Obsidian Flames box, I pulled the Charizard SIR in my third pack. And this... Pulling nothing. 13 packs and we get an ace spec. Bro, this is like the last thing I want as a collector. Might be good for playability. A heal 150 damage from one of your Pokemon. Probably not the best ace spec there is. You can only run one in a deck. I don't think you're running this one, but I guess it's something. At least we got the promos. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we got something from Shrouded Fable, but damn. Our pull rate's supposed to be hard. We'll have to see. Danny Phantom, come on. Get us pull rate data. We need to see it. All right, guys. Well, that's it. What a fail of a pack opening. Wish I could have brought you guys something more exciting. Wish I could have pulled something more exciting, but it is what it is. You can't win them all. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for a big revamp of, you know, the backdrop. I guess the video quality, kind of quality. Quality is not going to change. The camera's going to be the same. But the backdrop, the lighting, that sort of stuff is going to be improved maybe in the next video, if not the one after that. So stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't already. I don't really do openings all the time. It's more market updates, stuff like that. If that interests you, you know, hit that button and come back for more. So that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.